To download and install the Sage Business Works Service Pack, go to www.sagekb.com. Once at the site, click Sign In in the top right-hand corner. If you have not registered for a Sage Support login, click Sign Up for a Portal account. From this page, you're going to enter the necessary information to create your portal account. Once complete, you're going to enter your username and password and then click login. Once logged in, go up to My Downloads, choose Sage Business Works, and then under the latest update, you're going to choose the necessary service pack. Once the service pack is selected, you're going to see that there are two download options. One is Download Now, which uses a download manager to track your download and help in case you have any internet drops of connection. The other is a direct download, which is a more direct connection, does not use the download manager, but at the same time, if you drop an internet connection, you will have to restart the download. In this example, we're going to show how to use the download now option. Once you select download now, you'll notice that the program will begin to download in the bottom left-hand corner of your browser window. Once complete, you're going to hit the option, and then you're going to select run. If you get prompted again, you're going to choose run again. Then it's going to ask you where the download is going to be placed. We're going to select the downloads folder, but you can change to any location that you'd like. Now the download manager is beginning the installation of the file. Once complete, you're going to hit OK to continue. Now you're actually beginning the installation of the download file. So we're going to hit next. We're going to accept the terms and agreement. It's going to check the entitlement. Important, if this is a move to a new location or an install on a new server, your registration information must be brought over prior to installing the service pack. So if this comes up blank, you need to go under utilities and registration information and enter your system manager serial number and unlocking key or restore system backup. We're going to hit next to confirm the pass. And once the installation is complete, we're going to go ahead and hit finish. Now just to show you the other option for downloading, if, in case you receive any errors when using the download now option, you can use direct download. And you'll notice that what it does is it automatically begins downloading the file to your default settings for your internet browser, which with Google Chrome is the download folder. So if we were to come into File Explorer, we would then go into Downloads and we'd see that this file has been downloaded. 